Hey, if you're a real estate agent trying to figure out YouTube ads, you're gonna wanna watch this video. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step on how you can set up your own YouTube ads for success. There's a couple of hidden steps in there where you're gonna wanna make sure that you tweak this and that so you don't lose your budget all in the one blow. So let's get started. Hey, my name's Ryan Harper and I run a real estate team here in Boulder, Colorado, and I've been helping agents since 2008 grow their businesses online. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you never miss one of the videos that we put out on how to grow your real estate business and generate more leads online. So let's jump right in and get started creating an ad. We are in one of my sample accounts here, so we'll just click on create a new campaign. Start that new campaign up right there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go without video guidance. Uh, a lot of these different things do work and they work well, but uh, then you can't adjust things and, you know, so I always like to just start and do what I want. <laughs> uh, we're going to click on the videos like you saw right here, video. Uh, we're going to do a custom video campaign. That way, you know, you can do all this kind of stuff, um, but it, it's easier just to set it up for me. And that way all the settings are on the same page instead of trying to hunt them down, find them later uh, that we talked about here. Okay, so first things first is you want to get into your naming conventions. So here's what I like to do. I like to name the campaigns, you know, basically you come in here and I like to put RH. That way it's my initials. I know what I'm doing there. Uh, who's doing it? What the campaign is. So we'll do a cash offer one. Cash offer um, for this one. Then I like to put, um, you know, what we're doing. So YouTube, YouTube ads, you know, cash offer. And then we either put, sometimes I put demographics in here, or if I'm targeting special audiences, I'll put that in there, um, which is totally fine. Uh, or, well, and I also put the date in there. So, you know, 07 slash, what is today, 27? 27th. So, uh, you know, that stands for July 27th, 2022. Uh, that way, you know, everybody knows, Hey, Ryan did this. It's on YouTube. That's what this campaign's for. And we're going for maximum cost per view right here. You can change these, uh, target CPM and all that kind of stuff. You don't want to do that until you get a, a lot of conversions really. Um, and then even sometimes that still kind of drains your stuff, uh, for YouTube stuff. So daily budgets, you can go five, 10, 1500, uh, whatever you want to do. Uh, so we do $10 a day networks, uh, right here. I'm going to skip this display network partners cause I only want to be in YouTube. Um, so we're going to do the, basically the ads where we just show up in front of other people's videos. So pre-roll stuff. Uh, and we'll get into that in a second. Then we come down here to our location. So locations is one of the things that, you know, a lot of people, talk about and you know like oh you can zero in and do zip codes and do all that kind of fun stuff right there uh, you can do demographics and all kind of stuff so that is true but not for housing so housing stuff it has changed a little bit you can't do demographics so you can't pick male females all that kind of stuff uh, and so here I'll just show you real quick housing policy Here's their housing policy updated October, 2020. So when the housing policy it's right here, right? So housing listings, individual real estate homes, services, any of that kind of stuff or jobs, stuff like that. So you cannot do, you know, discrimination. So they're not as bad as Facebook, but you can't geo target by zip codes anymore. Uh, we can go down to a, you know, a smaller area and stuff like that. So if you put in an address or things like that, that works a lot. Uh, but what we usually like to do is, you know, cities or uh, half of a city. And so we can put in an address, right? So we'll put in a specific address. Uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know who that is, but we can put in this address and then we can go down to one mile, right? And that, We'll do, oops. let's see where they're, all right, we'll do Philadelphia, one mile. So you can go within one mile uh, of that. Now that's not a zip code or anything like that. So we should be good to go, but right here, you cannot target audience based on parental status, marital status, age, gender, 
you know, or zip code. Now, what will happen is you can totally do it right here and nobody's going to say anything, right? So they're going to let you <laughs> go ahead and finish all your work. And for some reason, it's just not going to show, you know. So you want to go anyway, let's go through these real quick, right? So we labeled it bid strategy, budget and date, you know, start date, stop date. We don't have that. We eliminated the partner network. See how that one was closed. We entered a specific location. So one mile or a city. Usually I just do cities. Uh, we did English. We're going to do standard inventory uh, just because that's good. You can do expanded stuff and test it out. See if you want or you know, shorten that stuff. Uh, excluded types of labels. So I don't exclude anything, you know, especially not like labeled, who cares? Uh, but if people are on YouTube watching and they fit in my demographics and my stuff, that's great. Uh, here's a new thing that's kind of cool is related videos, right? So you can add, I think five videos in here. So when people see that, your video, then it kind of adds more things to them. And so it's like the expanded text links and different things like that. So when people watch your first video, like let's do a cash offer one today. So we're going to do a cash offer with one of my clients that was interviewed and you know, that's what we're going to put there. So you can also add in the, you know, how to sell your home for the most amount of money, uh, more than the market conditions in XYZ city, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. So you can add those videos there and it's just real easy. You just put them in there and stick your URL in, right? And so, yeah, you can add up to five videos. And we're not gonna do that right now. Additional settings, this is the one that's important. And you see how fine and hidden that was? Uh, <laughs> so these are the things that you wanna take a look at, right? So eligibility, all computers, all devices. I like to do this, but certain campaigns we only want to do on computers, certain ones we only want to do on mobile, certain ones we only want to do on TV. Right now for this one, you know, it's kind of a, a broad area. And so, you know, we have a good mobile website. We have, it's fine on TV because we have the URL on there to visit uh, and all that kind of stuff. So one of the things that you want to realize is if you're doing YouTube ads, you're going to be on people's smart TVs, which is really, really, you know, important important and you know what happens with tvs well people think tvs people that are on tv are celebrities so <laughs> you're going to be a local celebrity if you're on the tv for youtube now if you want to get expanded and go into you know how to do direct tv ads and all that kind of stuff uh with the over the top networks we also offer that and teach people how to do those different things so let us know there go ahead and you know keep tracks and hopefully this has been really helpful so far frequency capping this is the big one right here so view caps so i only want people to see my video twice a week right so if they don't really take action on it you know twice a week now that is just something that that's my personal one you can limit this or add this or whatever you want to do right add another view cap uh you can cap impressions so if people see the ad over and over and over again I don't recommend doing that on YouTube uh, just because they count a view as the 30 second view. So if somebody skips your ad before 30 seconds, you don't get charged. And so that's, you can do a whole 30 second commercial basically uh, almost for free. So that's great. Um, so that's why I just limit the frequency of the view. So how many times people have actually sat down and watched it and you can check right here, you know, Hey, what is a frequency view? It's blah, blah, blah. Someone has watched at least 30 seconds, right? Oh, sorry, you know, a view is counted when someone watches 30 seconds of your video ad. There you go. So if they watch 30 seconds twice in a week and they don't do anything, then, you know, we skip them or we put them in a remarketing audience, which is also good. Uh, ad schedules for time of day. So pretty much you can let this run 24 seven, or if you wanted to, you can adjust it to, you know, midnight to 5 a.m. or something like that. Don't show them. Um, which is another one third party measurement tools we don't need to worry about that we don't have any of those set up right now um, but that's if you're doing some you know customized tracking and things like that uh, so aggregate name is going to be cash if i could spell that'd be great 
finish offer. Great. So demographics, like I said, you know, you can't change any of this stuff, right? But you can do income. <laughs> so we can get rid of, uh, you know, the lower 50% income, which is fine if you wanted to. Uh, but, you know, you can, who knows how they calculate that. <clears throat> so you can definitely, you know, adjust these things a little bit right here. Um, no, household target. Uh, yeah, so it's only in certain countries, which our country is fine. Um, audience segments. So here is kind of the magic behind YouTube ads. So when you're in here, and obviously you can tell I do this a lot, so real estate, right? So when we're looking for real estate stuff, you know, top related segments, people that are looking for houses and wanting to buy or sell a house, right? Uh, so that's a good one that we can pick. And then you can just type in a search real estate in here. And so these are people that are in market. So people that are in market to buy a house <laughs> or an apartment or something. So then you can keep scrolling and see homes for sale. That's a good one. Uh, new houses for sale, Colorado real estate. So these are people that are actually looking for real estate in Colorado. So those are good people to show it to. Uh, now it's only going to show it in our geo targeted area. So that's good. Houses for sale. So those are probably some good ones that we can go. And these are based on people that Google knows are getting ready to move. So they're doing all their you know, online segmenting where, you know, they're visiting different websites, they're visiting, you know, mortgage things, they're checking out movers, they're learning how to fix up things. So all that key, you know, data that people, you know, don't want to share, Google has it all still. And so <laughs> they definitely have gotten really, really good with that. So that's usually what I do for a good uh, area and do that. But what you could also do is come over here with keywords. So you can type in keywords, like just like normal Google search. So, you know, homes for sale in XYZ city or that kind of stuff. So those keywords, then it'll show your video to people who have typed those into the different places on Google, which is kind of cool. Uh, topics, this is where you can just put, you know, somebody that's interested in a topic, you know, you can show your ads on top of that. So, you know, again, real estate, real estate investing, real estate law, business, housing, whoop, property development, real estate listings right there. So that's a good one, right? So anybody that's listen, looking for real estate listings, you know, it'll help further narrow it down. And so what you want to think about is, um, you know, to scale a campaign, right? You want to go to topics or audiences you know, because that's generalized stuff. If you want a really tight campaign and small audiences, you want to go keywords or placements, right? And so when you're doing placements, that's the next one down here. Um, you know, real estate agencies. That's a good one right there, right? So these are going to be broad. And so that's going to show it to the most amount of people. Uh, now placements, that's a really cool one. So you can put, you know, any YouTube channel in there you want any YouTube videos you want. So if there's an agent that's just crushing it in your market on YouTube, uh, you can go and put your video on all of his videos to play it right before that, just to help get your word out there and get your name out there. Or you can create a list of all the different YouTube channels uh, or YouTube content that people may or may not be looking for. So I do like the YouTube channels that I do a lot of are local news, paper places, you know, the, not newspapers, but maybe they're newspapers. They used to be a newspaper. How about that? But, uh, you know, they, now they have the website. So local websites, you know, local news websites, all that kind of stuff. They all have YouTube channels and they do a lot of content. And so you can place your content on those as well. And that will help make your audience size smaller. Okay. Now the fun part, we're going to create our ad. So when you create your ad, you just grab a YouTube video URL that you've linked to your account, hopefully. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, here's the things, right? Skippable in-stream ad. This plays before, during, or after another video or on the YouTube Partners Display Network. They give the people the option to skip the ad after five seconds, and you're only charged if they watch 30 seconds or more. So that's the one that I like to do a lot of. Uh, these ones right here, uh, these are the in-stream, 
video ads, right? So these are the ones that are, you know, on the side and related search and all that kind of fun stuff and discovery, right? So uh, those are in the shirt search terms and they'll pop up there. So I don't usually do those. Uh, they just get charged a little bit different. And then our final URL. So for this one, oh, it's instant offer. Offer CLE. Okay, perfect. And yep, our display name, we can do that. Call to action. We can say, you know, sign up, learn more, you know, book now, play now, order now. So for this one, we're just going to say learn more. So get a full price cash offer. Uh, get, let's see, does this fit? Cash offer. Perfect. Let's see, cash offer, learn more. So it talks all about getting a cash offer on your home. Uh, you can upload your own banner images and all that kind of fun stuff right there. So then we put in the ad name, right? So this one is, you know, whatever we want to name it, but it's Al and Dan. Oh. And interview uh, 30 seconds, right? So that we just want to know what that is so that when we do get a link click and somebody signing up on our website that that's where it goes so i'm going to add in url tracking and right here just so we know that when the so what we want to do is put our tracking template in here so these are the uh utm tracking parameters that we use uh and i'll show you that in a sec so you just put those in so it's going to put in it's going to add google click id the creative the campaign name all these different things uh into the new landing page URL. So we can just scroll back here. So it's going to come from source, YouTube, UTMs, cost for, you know, CPC is what we're doing. Um, YouTube, actually, that needs to go. Yeah, so that's the way it works. Okay, so we're going to just paste in our you know, landing page URL right there, and then our UTM trackers. So we want to know what source it came from, YouTube, the campaign ID, uh, the campaign, you know, all those things, the creatives. So that's where we're going to name the ad and our Google Click ID. So those are the things that I like to track. You can track a whole bunch of other things, whatever you want to do, right? So that's where we put all that kind of fun stuff in there, okay? And so that is our ad, and we're ready to go. <clears throat> all right. So now we've got our ad creative. We got one of them in there. So you can add multiple right here if you want to add, keep adding more videos and do a bunch of testing. But you definitely want to have a bigger budget if you want to do that. And then now we're going to do our CPV. So I always like to do 35, 40 cents, somewhere in there. Um, 45 cents is a good one. Just so, you know, most of them are going to be like seven cents uh, cost per view, which is fine. Three cents, two cents. You know, you're going to get that. But if you put 45 cents in, it just helps Google get started and get the algorithm going. And then, of course, on the optimization part, then you kind of edit these things and change them down and you start dialing in, you know, your conversions and all that kind of fun stuff. So that's all you need to do. Then you hit create campaign and you are good to go. OK, so what you want to do is add in your tracking templates right here. So these, you know, basically it's UTM tracking. So the source is going to be YouTube. And this basically adds to the back end of this URL anytime an ad is clicked, all this tracking stuff. So then this tracking stuff gets pushed to your website. And so that's the actual URL that comes up. And then if you have a good content management system or a landing page generator or all that kind of stuff, uh, right now ours does it for sure. And then so does like HubSpot, but not too many other people let you import these uh, tracking URLs automatically so that you can see where that conversion came from. So when you click on a contact, you can see that, oh, it definitely came from YouTube and this ad is where it came from. Uh, and so you can run all sorts of great reporting on that. And then of course you can re-upload those conversions back to Google and back to Facebook so that they get counted as a conversion. Because a lot of times uh, in this world of ad blockers and iOS updates, a lot of that stuff has been missing. So UTM tracking parameters, that's what they're for and that's what you want to use them for. Uh, definitely use them. Definitely have a CRM that'll do it and work with you there. Uh, you can upload and create your own banner images, which 
you know, that's just this little piece right here. So if you don't like that one, you can change it, but I won't worry too much about it because that looks pretty good. Um, and then right there, like I said, you want to name that video so that when it does come up in your UR parameters, you know that that's the one that got you the lead. All right. Now our bid, here's the bid, 45 cents uh, per view. So most of the time it's going to be like seven cents, three cents, five cents, but you want to give Google enough room when you're just getting started to show your ad enough to where you can get some views. Right. And so if it's, if you're trying to get it at, you know, three cents a view, it might not show. Uh, so that's why I do it at that. Now I've never spent 45 cents a view. Uh, so just, Take that as you will. And that's all you need to do to create your campaign. I hope that was helpful. And if it was, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and uh, leave a comment. Let me know if there's anything that uh, you learned from this video and if it made sense. All right, I hope that video was helpful and you learned a lot, especially with that new demographic stuff that is really not that new. So make sure you don't try to uh, change out any of those demographics and limit that based on whether they're married or their age and things like that. Or guess what? Your ad just won't play. So if you're having trouble uh, doing online lead generation or you're struggling to grow your business, why don't you reach out to me? Let's schedule a call, see how we can help grow your business and get you a great team generating a whole bunch of leads online. And make sure to check out the next video over there on how to do Facebook ads. I think that's going to be a great one for you too. Have a great day.